I'm in the ultimate building competition with my friends. But what nobody knows <laughs> is that I'm secretly cheating with slash slash scary, which will give me the scariest, most terrifying things you could ever imagine. And the first round is... Yo, escape room? That sounds sick. Yeah, um, let's go, guys. Ah! Easy! <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Good luck. Um, thanks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. He'll be fine. A little stick to the forehead. All right, guys, the first round is escape room. Now, thankfully, Izzy, Izzy's literally dead. Oh my gosh, wait, he's back from the dead. Uh, okay, he's spying on me. He's spying. Oh, there he goes. Okay, yeah, and then Kipley is on her side. So thankfully, no one is looking because if I type in slash slash scary, boom, let's go. We get three Skidzy Industries boxes one for every round of the build battle and as you guys probably know we did slash slash scare before but we're back at it again with three brand new boxes and oh my gosh i don't even know which one to pick so for round one we could pick either the monster box the alien box oh my gosh or for the last one we have the nightmare box and i can't lie i i think we're going with the nightmare box boom Ooh. okay wait what okay it looks like some sort of potion with a skull on it nightmare elixir splashing this potion on anything will turn it scary um guys what the heck is inside this potion this looks insane okay let's just grab a bed and then what do i just like throw it onto the yo what the heck is that there's a skull um okay that was the the coolest thing i think i've ever seen in my life <laughs> what happened to the bed oh no nah, this is a scary bed okay so what happens if i sleep in it oh it says use this command to set a nightmare location make sure to build something spooky wait guys this is perfect if i go ahead and grab another bed and then we just throw this onto the bed oh my gosh wait that looks so cool and wait yeah now we have a magenta spooky bed one for kipley and and then one for Izzy. We should be able to make our like escape room. And now I should be able to make my friends just teleport like into the escape room. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. We just got teleported. It says, welcome to your nightmare. Oh my gosh. Wait, Izzy's right behind me. Izzy's right behind me. Break the beds. Hey. Yo, what's going on, dude? Hey. What were those beds, man? That looked a little weird. Uh, Nah, I, I didn't. I didn't see any beds. Nah, man, I think you're lying to me, man. No. Yeah, let me just yeah, go ahead and. Stay out, dude. <laughs> All right, let's just patch that up. There we go. Okay, wait. So if we're gonna teleport Kipley and Izzy with the beds, I'm thinking that we make like a little path, kind of like this, and then using some world edit, we can make like a little like altar kind of area. Oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be so creepy. And then we could even have some like pillars, kind of on the edges here. Ooh, okay, that looks pretty good. And then in the center is just gonna be the two beds so let's go ahead and splash the potion on these oh guys i splashed the potion on myself i'm scary now i'm ghost skidzy i did not even mean to do that what what can i do as ghost skidzy okay so i could go through any block it looks like and then wait if i go into survival mode oh my gosh my hearts are ghost like even my hunger bar wait this is crazy oh my gosh we're on kipley's side we're not supposed to be on kipley's side and then i should be able to just go right through through the door. Oh my gosh, I'm right in front of Kipley. Wait, did she not see me? Hello, housekeeping. Kipley, <laughs> can you see me? Yo, she can't see me. Wait, okay, hold on. This should mean that I could just troll her, right? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Who oh, just broke that? Where are you? Wait, I'm gonna change this sign. I'm watching you. And then let's break the other one. Who just broke my sign? That is uncalled for. Oh my gosh, she noticed. I'm watching you. Very funny, Skidzy, Izzy, huh? Very funny. Yo, she's so sussed out right now. Where are these guys, huh? Think they can pull pranks on me? Where are they at? What if I use my ability <gasps> key on her? Ah! <gasps> what the? I'm Kipley? My hands are up. I did not move that. I did not. I'm not moving what is going on i'm gonna break her own build <laughs> escape please. don't break my escape room stop wait can i give myself tnt i can why is there tnt i'm gonna go to izzy's side i'm literally gonna grief izzy izzy this isn't me Yo, get out of my side go 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 oh my oh my god he's gonna hate me wait hello yo stop Oh. <laughs> this ghost just framed me. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Go, go, go. I didn't Why do it. I know what this, this looks city? like. I swear I didn't do it. Why I know I have. Why would you blow up my side? It wasn't me. 
You have to believe me. I know what it looks like. Okay, I know it looks bad. I had the flint steel in my hands. Don't do this. Guys, I I'm actually <laughs> such a menace. But guys, we need to keep building on our side. We'll let them deal with that. And yeah, wait, I think these look really good. We can even add some like trap doors on the sides. Okay, that looks pretty good. These guys are definitely about to get scared in style. But then we could also just put some blood on the ground. And we could even have some lanterns like a so. And then I'm actually just going to use like a brush just to make the path like extra spooky. And then we could even have some like dead trees and whatnot. I don't know why I'm getting like so ambitious about just a path, but it, it looks great. Okay. Because once Kipley and Izzy walk up to this altar, they're going to sleep in these very nice looking comfortable beds that I've made for them. And boom, now they're teleported to the escape room. And I'm thinking that we make this escape room like a giant psych ward. Oh, and don't worry, guys. We're going to be using this potion to make, let's just say, a, a, a patient for our psych ward, okay? I'm thinking that we could try the potion on, like, a zombie or something. But before we do that, we're going to need a very uh, nice, humble abode for our patient. Yeah, okay. I think this is a perfect foundation. And now we could just find something that we want to turn scary. And wait, yo, what if we try a villager? Uh, hey, hey, buddy. I'm, I'm just real quickly. I, I'm just, uh, yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh. Yo, we nailed him in the forehead. Hey, hey, little guy. Oh my goodness. I do not want to get near this guy. Why his neck moving like that? And why is he smiling so big? Uh, he just said he's going to turn into my biggest nightmare. Fine. You know what? I'm going to go into survival mode. Okay, I'm in survival. <laughs> okay, my biggest fear is literally dolls. Dude, I swear, if he turns into a doll and this is real. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm locked on him. I'm locked on him. He's ch- It's his own move. Okay, I'm not moving. He's breathing right behind me. He's right behind me. He's he's a doll. He's a doll. Oh, nah. Game mode creative. Okay, he's dead now. So if he turns into your biggest fear, when Izzy and Kipley get in here, what is he going to turn into? What is their biggest fears? All right, Kyle, uh, I'm going to leave you there and I'm just going to finish the rest of, of this uh, insane asylum. Okay, so I'm thinking we could just add like a little more meat onto the side of the building here. And then on the sides here, we could just add some details. And then let's go ahead and just put bars over the windows since this is a psych ward. And yeah, Kyle's literally crazy over there. So we don't want Kyle getting out. Boom. Okay, I actually just got lost in the sauce a little bit, but I went ahead and added some more details. I think what I'm gonna do is finish up this side right here and then copy it and just paste it onto the other side. Boom. Okay, we have like the entire side of the building selected. And now I should be able to just come down here, do slash slash copy. Okay, and then I think I just paste it like this. And boom. Okay, it worked. And then I was thinking on top of all these pillars here, we could have like little spikes using the iron bars like this just to make it look really scary. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. And then wait, I just realized since we already have this pasted, oh my gosh, we could give it a second layer. Okay, wait guys, let me cook, let me cook. <laughs> Huh. All right, yo, we could definitely work with this. All we got to do is just fill in like the air right there and give it a roof. There we go. Wow. Okay, that actually looks so good. The only thing I think it's missing is like right in the center here. There's always like a main tower. Okay, wait, hold on. This little box at the top here. This could be where Izzy and Kipley spawn. Like this could be their jail cell. And then we could put some pillars on the sides just to like match the theme. And then let's just give them like one little window in the middle. And boom, there we go. Oh. All right, so I just set the position to be in that top little tower. So now when they go to sleep, oh my goodness, this is so evil. Boom, they wake up in the cellar. And you guys already know, since this is an insane asylum, we need to put like all the padding on the walls. Yeah, wait, this is actually perfect. And then we'll just give them like one little light up top. But now since this is an escape room, if I just put in this command, this gives us an invisible item frame. So I'm thinking we could just hide one like right there. And then maybe this could give them like a button. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's literally only like one pixel hanging out. But wait, if I punch it, yeah, it drops. Okay, perfect. And so I'm thinking they'll have to use the button somewhere so we can make this like a white concrete block. And that way it kind of blends in, but you could tell like something's just a little off. Okay, so let's go ahead and just redstone this puppy up. All right, I, I think I I think I did this right. I didn't do it right. Okay, now let's try it. Boom. Oh my goodness, I did it. But here's the thing. Since the trap door opens right here, they'll have to be laying down 
now. So I'm thinking, what if we just break this, but instead we have like an oak fence and coming out of the fences is more fences. But then guys, we can literally hide an oak fence gate using the invisible item frames. Oh my goodness. And boom, there we go. It just looks like it's part of like, you know, the chandelier. But if they grab one of these, they should be able to place it like this. And then boom, they could lay down. So they should be able to press that and boom, they're in the next level. And this level is, uh, it's gonna belong to our friend Kyle here. So since Kyle here is an absolute psychopath, I'm thinking that we make him like the maximum security patient in this facility. I mean, look at him. He literally transforms into your biggest fear. I hate him. So I think it's safe to say that we should definitely be using iron on like his cell. And then wait, yeah, where Izzy and Kipley drop in, we can make this like an AC vent and we can have it lead to like this side of the map over here. And then they'll drop down onto this side, like right here. And then on the wall here, yes. Oh my gosh, that looks perfect. It could be like a big glass window. And then this room right here, boom. Okay, this could be like where all the scientists would like sit and watch him. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, this is already getting so creepy. Look at him. So let's go ahead and just make a bunch of tables where they like watch this dude or whatever. And then we can make like a vaulted door like right here. Yeah, door. Except you, you already know he's definitely gonna escape, but we'll get there. And then these could be like the chairs where they would like sit. Oh, and wait, since we have these item frames, yeah, we could just put these on the tables. And this could be like where they take their notes or whatnot. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. And then honestly, I'm thinking, yeah, we could just add like miscellaneous details just all over the place just to kind of like fill this room up a little bit. And we could even put in some like bookshelves, kind of like where they keep all their notes about the patient. And then let's just put some like brewing stands everywhere since these are like scientists or, or whatever. I feel like scientists use these things. But now last but not least, we need to put like blood everywhere because yo, these guys did not survive Kyle over there. Oh my gosh, wait. Vines. Yes, it needs vines. Mwah. Nature is key, guys. Okay, but what I'm gonna do in this barrel right here, we're gonna put a lever and it's up to them to find that lever so that they could open this door. Now I'm thinking on this side of this like prison cell, this could kind of be like where he broke out. And wait, honestly, guys, I just realized this kind of looks like a smile. Yo, we can make this a face. Oh my gosh. Just like how he has a face. Well, I, I think everyone has a face, but it, like, I mean, look at his face. You, you guys, you guys know what I mean. And then I'm thinking like right where he broke out we could just break all the floor like this and then we could fill this up with lava and then we could kind of just make it look like it's coming out of like an old pipe or something boom okay just like that and then i'm thinking it's gonna be up to them to figure out that there's barrier blocks right here so they're gonna have to like parkour over blocks that they can't even see and wait okay that's actually wait, it's so hard to see oh my okay all right i i think they should be able to do it all right yeah that's that's not that bad they, they can do that but i'm thinking that it's over here this is where they meet Kyle. And boom, I went ahead and just made it a little more smaller. I'm thinking that this could be like a cell block. And so it's going to be up to Izzy and Kipley to explore the cell block while also avoiding Kyle. Boom. Okay. We have like two little cells carved out. Let's replace the air. Yes. Just like that. And then we could have like an iron door like this. And then maybe this one will just already be broken open. And wait, yeah, we can make like little bug beds like that. And then this is where the prisoners do their pooping. There we go. Boom. Right there in that corner. We put an ender pearl, which I'm thinking that they'll then need to use to throw it through the little butt crack at the door here to get into this cell. And honestly, this one I'm thinking, let's just put like a vine that like leads through the top. Bro, okay, wait, this could be like a hidden little attic. And in the barrel here, okay, we'll have another lever and another ender pearl to escape. So now they'll be able to ender pearl back through the door here and they'll use the lever for the staircase. So they'll be able to use the lever here. And now we just need to make a staircase going down. This will lead down to this room. And I know what you guys are thinking. This room is like huge. How are we gonna fill this up? Well, if I just uh, do just, just a little bit of Googling. All right, and then I type in scam low maze 69 boom we now have like a giant maze and then wait yeah we could just make this like way more complicated than it already is and there we go, guys. They now need to escape this maze while trying to outrun Kyle. Where is he? Is he still up here? Uh, Kyle? Oh, there he is. And then we'll put a sign right here saying you survived. And then honestly, all we got to do is just fill up the entire map with some like poopy looking mud and soul sand. And then let's go ahead and just put like a ton of trees everywhere. Oh my goodness, guys. I think we have a completed build. And now it's just time to see what Kipley and Izzy's biggest fears are because Kyle here is 
gonna okay all right he's actually so scary i don't even want to get near him but let's do this all right gentlemen follow me this way to the hardest escape room you will ever see this is, this is a boxy build okay wait no no one go in yet okay there's a couple of requirements you guys uh must be in survival mode uh okay no breaking blocks i'll give you guys some steak yo out of the yo, way yo, 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 get yo. that oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to push me out first uh okay well oh Hey, yo, what you holding there, bro? What is that in your hand? Yo, what? All right, I'm back. As you can see, there is uh, Rosalina. Watch what where you're walking, this? Skizzy. Bro. You don't know what's what in here. What do you mean? What do you mean? She's being way too sus, bro. Wait, yeah. I don't want to get near Rose Rosalina. Don't walk in those roses. Look at that. All right, you go first. Ow, ow, oh, oh, oh my God, I told oh. you. Oh my gosh, Rosalina was a trap. Get near. Rosalina, you must go to Rosalina. Wait, are we supposed to go down there? Yes! Okay, I'm jumping down. Izzy! Oh my gosh, Izzy, are you okay, buddy? There's a bunch of water down here, no! We're in the sewers. All right, I'm immediately trying to get out. Okay, wait, yeah, who is that big fish? His name's Bubbles. Okay, maybe we could swim up here. Is there a way out? Okay, yeah, there's no way out there. Wait, there, there's a trap door, there's a trap door. Okay, maybe there's like a lever or something. It leads to a crafting table. Mm-hmm. Okay, Izzy, we need to use our big brains right now. Punch it, punch it. Hey, wait. Wait, we, I don't think we're supposed to break block. Oh, there's Wait, something okay. over here. Look. There's a barrel here. There's a hole. Yo, there's a hole in the ground. Okay, okay. How, how do we get in there? Oh my gosh, I know what to do. Lay down like this. Oh my goodness. Let's go. No boats. What does this mean? Just no boats. Oh. Okay. What do we... Is there anything in here? There's a secret barrel in this waterfall. Okay, we got four ladders. So now we have to go back and use the ladders. Look at you guys using your brains. I'm so proud of you. Yo, get your butt out of my face, bro. Put Ow. the ladders, oh, oh. man. Hurry up. Okay. One, two, three. And then I, I think I'm going to save the fourth one just in case. But now we can get to this barrel, which has a slime block. Now is Skidzy good at parkour? Yeah, it looks like we got to make some jumps. Oh, I made it. Let's go. What do I do now? Wait, yeah, where do you go now, bro? Skidzy or Izzy pick up the slime block? I have the slime block. Oh, unfortunate, Izzy. You have to put the slime block at the bottom? All right, wait, Izzy, what if I put the slime block there? Bro, you have to make this jump. Make it up to the barrel. <gasps> Come on, Izzy. <gasps> go, Izzy. Oh, I got it. Yo, what? What'd you get? I got eight planks. planks. Can we make a button? Oh, we can. I just placed it. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. There we go. Now you guys have a crafting table. What are you going to do with the remaining seven? Make a big axe so we can mine out of here. No, no breaking thing. You have mining fatigue. That wouldn't work anyways. Maybe we could put a trap door so we go under. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Yeah, that's so true. Okay. Yeah. Make a trap door. Make a trap door. Wait, how do I make a trap door? Oh my. Yo. Wait, I got it. I got it. I got right it. No, here, no. Everybody. I actually got it, guys. No, look, look, look. <laughs> okay. So I think we got to put the trap door like right here no we can't maybe put it on the side Bruh. is you idiot all right wait i only have one more i can't mess. you place <laughs> right it i don't right want to mess it up you place it <laughs> <laughs> yo get me out of here get me out look at you guys you made it get back you spicy what spicy bubbles wait there's there's vines we might have to climb them oh check the lava check the lava oh my god there's like a hundred of them keep right clicking the lava there's got to be something i got something ah <laughs> Oh, I found a fishing rod. All right, yeah, Izzy found it. There's a barrel and a furnace right here. Can I do something with the forest fruit and the coal? Okay, okay, let me check the crafting recipe. I can make a purple block. I can make four. I made four purple blocks. Izzy, don't. Don't, don't, Izzy. Dude, I'm gonna get okay. left behind. All right, I'm jumping. Oh my gosh, we made it. Oh my oh, God. Izzy found it. We got a boat clutch. We got a boat clutch. Good luck. <laughs> don't die. Yo, right, right, I'm I doing this on my first shot. Izzy! Oh! <laughs> <No>! <laughs> I'll avenge you, buddy. Huh, huh, let me in. Oh, oh, oh you hit me. Wait, hold on. There's a sign that says Skidzy and one that says Izzy. Please go in your respective doors. Oh, there's green armor. Wait, yeah, there's red armor and a sword. Yo, are we supposed to fight? Skidzy, I'll meet you on the other side. What kind of sick twisted escape room is this? Oh my, there can only be one. All right, well, one is in red, so I think we, we know what the answer is. Oh, yes, let the duel begin. Izzy. I'm sorry. You were like a brother to me. I loved you. Oh, it's a close one. It's a close one. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, seriously, seriously. Time out. Time out. Put your shield down. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like this. Stop! Skins, you get away from me. me. <laughs> no! <laughs> You made me kill my best friend. Oh, wait, freedom. Let's go. Woo! Did you guys like that? That was fun, right? I'll rate it an 8.5 out of 10, Kibli. I think I'm definitely going to have to give this a ripe 8.7.3. Two points? You have a question it. Yay, let's go. 
Uh, is he? Did you forget to build for the build battle? Don't worry about it, guys. You guys are about to <laughs> go into a super secret lab secret uh, escape room. Why is this book called Poop? Uh, yeah, I'll let you read that. I'm going in. All right, all right excuse me. You take the left. Uh, Kipley has to take the right. Good luck, guys. Yo, what the? Bro didn't even give us any food. Oh, good luck, Skizzy. <laughs> Yo, why is there so many mobs on my side? Oh, wow. Congratulations. I made it out. Did Izzy give me, like, the super hard side? Skidzy will be joining us in one second. Let's just wait for him out here. Okay, I just need to figure out how to get out of here. It's like a maze. It's a maze full of mobs. Get back. Okay, maybe I could try going this way. <laughs> Yo, let's go. No way go. you made Ow. out that easy, bro. I'm alive, baby. Bro, there's an arrow in your <laughs> forehead. Let's go. I'm alive. I thought you were going to get lost in the maze, man. Yeah, I can't lie, Izzy. This was, uh... I, it was, it was, it was, it was, this build is kind of like this book, in a way. Poop? Oh, wow. I'm sorry. But I, I have to go with a 5 out of 10, man. I need more, more in there. More spice. All right, guys. Well, speaking of spice... I've got it. All right, come over to uh, come over to my side. We're we're gonna start over here. I like your confidence. Put you guys into survival real quick. There, there you go. I'm just gonna go ahead and say one thing, okay, guys? Welcome to your nightmare. What the heck? I'm scared. Um, where did he go, Izzy? So I'm hoping that they just go straight for the beds. We're supposed to sleep on this. It'll be fine, right? Just uh, close your eyes. Oh my gosh, they're going into the beds. Ah! Welcome to your nightmare. Hello? They're inside the insane asylum. How do we get out There's of here? There's baby fences. Yes, in the item frame. Smart. Hear me out. What if we go like right here? Oh my gosh, they're figuring it out. Yes, they're figuring it out. Uh, I may have made myself stuck. Oh, Kipley's literally trapped. I hope you, Kipley. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Izzy found it. Did you just get yourself stuck? Wait, there's a button. Come back over here. Place the button right here. Wait, I'm stuck. Oh my. Bro's actually a bot. That was your one thing. Don't get stuck I, like me. And listen, that I tried. I had to go in. <laughs> Are you guys serious right now? What? What am I looking at? How did you guys get into this predicament? I don't know. Here, I will break one block for you. There you go. Come put the button on this block, right? That that makes sense. Oh my goodness. I still can't get out. I broke one more block for them. Okay, so now they're in the AC vent and they have no idea that Kyle is just waiting right there for them. Come this way. Wait, it opens up. All right, Aim for the cobweb. Okay, what kind of room is this? Real quickly, um, you guys don't have any biggest fears, do you? This isn't a carnival, so I think I'm okay. Yeah, unless there's something with like more than six legs. I think uh, I'll be fine. One thing, just, uh, you know, be careful with uh, what's on the other side of this wall. What's on the other side of the wall? <laughs> Stop laughing! Get out of here! <laughs> Izzy, I found a lever with a bunch of cobwebs in this barrel. Oh, we can use it on the trap, on the iron door. Come on. What is that? Uh, Izzy? Wait, no, it's yeah, making me look at it. Help stay me! Out here. Open the door! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my gosh, get me. Oh no. my god, I fell off. You pushed me. You pushed me. Come on, steak, please. Oh my gosh, she found it. I'll leave it there for you, Izzy. You got this. Yo, Kipley's actually getting away. Oh, no. No. Kipley. Oh, no. Kipley's gone. Wait, 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 wait. Izzy found the secret attic upstairs. Okay. Izzy, I'm back. Where are you? What did I you find? I got an ender pearl and 22 cobwebs. Okay. Oh, and another lever. Let's go. Wait. Oh, the oh door my god, here. we have to go downstairs. I don't want to go down. What if there's more clowns? Keep going. You know? ah! Yo, he literally turned into a clown, bro. No, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Oh, Casey. Don't leave me. I you found coward. the exit. I found the exit. Oh no, there's another one. I'm running. I'm running. You coward. You left me. All right. You guys made it. Let's go. Yeah, you know what? I may be scared and traumatized, but uh, I really like this was a great horrifying experience. This is a 10. Izzy, what, what are your thoughts? It was a good escape room, Skidzy. So I'm going to give you a 9 out of 10. Izzy, thank you so much. And the next round is civilization. All right, good luck, guys. Good, good luck. luck, everybody. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. All right, yeah, good luck, good luck, good luck, Izzy. 
All right, let's do it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, civilization. So if we go ahead and type in slash slash scary. Okay, that is not how you spell it. Slash slash scary. Boom, we have our three boxes. Now we already used that one, which leaves us with the alien box or we have the monster box. And wait, I actually can't lie, guys. We could make like an alien civilization. Okay, wait, what am I looking at? Uh, it's like a pickle in a jar. <laughs> Yo, alien parasite um guys is this like the start of like an alien infection or something okay so if we just place this on the ground yo it's a, it's a little baby noodle yo it's a little baby parasite okay i do not want to touch that can we give it like some food or something no it doesn't like carrots all right what if i summon uh like a pig on it oh my gosh it just it ate the pig okay i'm gonna name him ned the noodle ned i'm gonna give you another pig is this what you want? Okay, he's growing. What if I give him like a bigger mob, like a ravager? Oh my gosh, Ned the Noodle. He's got like a pair of chompers now, but let's keep making him bigger. Okay, wait, he's like, he's moving a lot more now and he's got arms. Keep growing, Ned. Wait, what the heck? What are these? Okay, if I just middle click this, we have tentacle. Ew, I'm holding an alien Ned Noodle tentacle. But wait, guys, we could like build with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, this, this is actually a pretty good build building material all right ned just just stay there don't go anywhere daddy will be we'll be right back bye ned <laughs> They grew up so fast. Okay, so now that we're like far away from the arena, I'm thinking we could do the slash place command and we should be able to just place a village. Okay, there we go. So let's fly back to our side. Hi, Ned. And then I'm thinking we should be able to just paste it like this and we can make like Ned's tentacles like grabbing the entire village like he's taking it over. Guys, what if we made like a crashed UFO? Okay, wait, can, can I like build around Ned? Oh my gosh, wait, I just got like a wither effect. Uh, Ned, I'm, I'm going into survival. Please don't hurt me. Ow! Ow! Yeah, our hearts turn green. Okay, wait, what if I summon, like, a villager? Yeah, go talk to Ned. Oh, my gosh. Why did he do that? Wait, is it his... Oh, it's the tentacles that poison you. Do they poison, like, other mobs, too? Go, go touch it. Go touch it. Oh. Ow! What just happened? You're not a villager. Okay, yo, this alien parasite just keeps getting crazier and crazier. He turned into an alien. Look how big his head is. Okay, hold on, guys. So if we just summon a ton of villagers, it's literally an alien civilization. Except for that guy. He literally just walked into Ned and died. All right, well, hopefully I can build around Ned. I'm thinking we do like a netherite cylinder, but then we could also run the sphere command and have like a glass bubble on top. Wait, that looks so cool. And then we definitely need to like rough up the terrain a little bit to make it look like the UFO just kind of crashed in this area. And then we'll just smooth it out just to give it like a little more depth oh whoops I, I i broke the wall uh, all right there we go we're good and now i'm thinking we just give the floor oh my gosh yeah just like a little more detail on the inside that looks so good so now all we need to do is get these like giant tentacles to just like wrap around the entire village and then honestly we can make it going like into the houses as well and then because these tentacles infect the villagers i'm thinking we just put villagers everywhere oh my gosh it's working we have aliens i'm thinking that we can make this like an objective base map we can kind of make this like an adventure map for them and i'm gonna make it so that they have to survive on the map but then they have to find the tnt to blow up the alien so i'm thinking in like random places around the map i'll have like loot chests that they could find to like help them defend themselves but now i'm thinking since we still have a little bit more time we still have the elixir nightmare potion so i can literally just go like ghost mode right now oh my gosh. Okay, Kipley actually popped off. This looks like some sort of like ice civilization. Whoa. Okay, I, I really like this a lot. Then on Izzy's side, whoa. Is he making like some sort of rock civilization? He is. There's like a throne in the middle. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We have to possess <gasps> Izzy. I did it. I literally did it. Wait, what's going on to my screen? So Wait, uh, this isn't even me. Let's just act natural. Let's just, you know, act like we're, we're building. We're building. Wait, what is happening to me? And uh, you know what? There's some magenta concrete in his 
his inventory. So let's go ahead and just change this throne into uh, into magenta. All right, <laughs> there we go. Oh my God, stop. No, I put so much work into my rock creatures. Oh, whoa. It looks like he built a giant statue as well. Okay, let's just give him like some pink pants. Oh my God, why are his cheeks so fat? And then just for good measure. All right, yeah, we're, we're just gonna go to Kipley's side and uh, say what's up. What are you doing over here? Go back to your rock people. All right, you know, Kipley, for talking to me like that. Oh my. What is wrong with you? Yo, yo, she's beating me up. I will kill you. She just killed Izzy. Oh my gosh. I'm still alive. Kipley, that wasn't me. Yeah, likely excuse, man. Likely excuse. All right. So I think we're pretty much done here. The last thing that I want to do to our build is add just like a little bit of green texture around these like alien meat tentacles or whatever, just to make it look like it's like infecting the ground around it. <coughs> Bless you, Skidzy. Thank you, Skidzy. Uh, yeah. It's my, uh... You wanna explain, or...? Yeah, you gonna explain yourself, or are we just gonna look at Mr. Alien Spaghetti Noodle over there? His name is Ned, okay? And it's it's not my turn, all right? I'll show you mine when the time comes. This is, uh, my snowy civilization. Wait, this is so cool. They're like igloos. And then we got their little farm over here. We have a diet of only potatoes. Oh my, yeah, this is a lot of potatoes. Yo, what's up, dude? I wanna go in the temple. Yeah, I'm, I'm going in the temple. As you can see, it's actually crystals inside. Well, yo, what? what is... Is this like a tomb or something? Yes, of the great pumpkin leader. There's nothing in there. Are these snowmen parts of him? The snowmen are all uh, his children. Oh, oh, all right. Well, I can't lie. This is like very, very creative. I actually love this like snow civilization. I'll give this a solid 8.3.3. I'm gonna give this a lava out of 10. <laughs> What? That translates to 9.5 out of 10. Okay, yay. All right, guys, follow me for obviously the superior civilization. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a really nice looking build you got there, Izzy. This looks like your statue over there took a massive dookie. It's a cave, dude, okay? It's a cave. Uh, hello? How housekeeping? What is this guy? This is a rock snail. Oh, wait, this is like his nose? No, that's his eye. Are these not the eyes up here? No, that's how they hear. Yo, what? No, I think that's backwards, you know. <laughs> yeah, do you know what a snail is? Guys, <laughs> it's not a real snail, okay? It's a rock. Uh <laughs> Yo, and then what is this? Th this is just Bob. That is Skidzy. All right. Uh, you know, if that's what you think, let me just go ahead. And there, there we go. I called him Bob and I didn't say your name. All right, all right, all right. It's fine. We'll kill you. All right, look, over... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even funny, dude. Okay, well, what about this one over here? That one's the leader. Don't look at his back. Oh, oh my. Double cheeked up. All right, Izzy, I, I will give this a ripe 7.9. I'm actually quite surprised. I like your little rock snails. I like how the snails are. This is a 8.5. All right, boys and girls. Let me just show you a brand new civilization. What is that? This right here is Ned. And hey, 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 before you get near Ned, he's very dangerous. I'm gonna throw you guys into survival. Find the TNT to blow up Ned. Check the chest. There's gear in the chest. Oh, I you can't touch the vines. They're not vines. They're they're meat tentacles from Ned. Find the TNT. Woo. Go, Kipley. Go. You could do it. In fact, I'm so confident in you. I'm just going to spawn more aliens. Ah. Oh, my God. I think I found it. I found the TNT. All right. Now you guys got to figure out how to blow them up. Wait. I need to eat carrots. Go, Izzy. Go. Don't step on. Don't step on the. Okay. He's stepping on them. All right. I'm going to do oh. this for all of humanity. Oh, my God. Do it for your country, Izzy. Get in here. Get in here. He's going to sacrifice himself, Izzy. Whoa! Oh! Oh, Ned is still alive, man. Yeah, it didn't do it. It didn't, it didn't do the trick. Oh, I got the TNT! Die! If you kill him, you win. Oh, oh, oh my! Ned just just did a giant jump. I guess Ned wins. No, Ned! Oh yeah, he's gone. Wait, he's like still wiggling down there. How is he alive? Wait, what the? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. There he goes. Yeah, he's dead. All right, guys. Well, Ned's dead now. What? What'd you think? I thought this was crazy. Look at look at the villain.
villagers. I didn't really get to look at them that closely because I was running for my life, but they are disgusting. They're aliens. Look at his mouth. He's got tentacle mouth. How much for you to kiss that mouth? Yo, <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a build battle. <laughs> what the? It's supposed One to be diamond. crazy. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, here you go, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just rate the build. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna give this a nine. I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10. I actually thought this was pretty insane, Skizzy. And the final round is... Custom base. Okay, all right. All right, good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. You're going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 good no. Good luck, Izzy. No, keep yeah. it, you too. Get off of me. <laughs> All right, guys, it's the final round. Meaning if we type in our command, we only have one box left. The monster box. Bro, what? What is that? Uh, Okay, so the theme is custom base. And I guess we're making this our base monster cave. Okay, wait, hold on. This looks like it's just pre-built. Can I, can I just like place it on the ground? We got like our own build just already made. Bro actually has nose hairs. That's how you know this is scary. But wait, what? Okay. Okay, what happens if I go inside? You feel something is about to happen inside the cave. Okay, all right, get me out of here. Oh, no, nah, wait, hold up. Yo, these guys are not <laughs> sneaky at all. They're so obvious. Obviously, this cave is freaking cursed. So what if I just put some diamonds right here? And then what if I just, uh, you know, hey, what's uh, what's going on, guys? You've been caught in 4K, man. We know you're cheating. Okay, listen, that's not what's important. What's important is that if you guys look, there's, uh, there's some diamonds in there. Dude, I'm going in. I'm taking the diamonds and I'm leaving, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just put you guys in survival real quick so you can mine them. Pickaxe to the dust! Oh! I knew it. This cave is cursed. My friends just got eaten for lunch. I guess I'm the only one left, so I win? I think he likes me. Yeah, he's not even eating me. Let's go! Oh, okay.